You just saw the Dow at session lows. I don't want to blow past that. Uh, we'll keep our eye there. Uh, we've got a sizable sell-off, uh, which may be accelerating uh, to about 41 minutes past the hour here. Let's talk about some earnings uh, that are uh, on the tape next week. United Health. Kevin, I'm coming to you on this. Uh, on a low note, too, because the stock hit a new 52-week low today, has not been trading well at all. Do you, what are your expectations now? Well, I would not be a buyer in advance of earnings. Now, full disclosure, I was a buyer last month at 470. To your point, it's 440, a 52-week low. But they've got just they're taking punch after punch, and I'm very, very close to being stopped out of the position. I want to wait and see what the guidance looks like. If it's a, if it's a sell the news event, we may be selling the position. Yeah, I'm just looking at the Dow over Jimmy's uh, head. It's the Dow, 38,000 even, just gave it up for a minute uh, and, and just got it back. Um, a lot of it, apparently, uh, certainly what the narrative seems to be um, today is all about geopolitical concerns, Iran and Israel, and that has caused a spike in commodities, a spike in the VIX, and that sell-off in stocks yields uh, obviously down on a flight to quality, too, a flight, flight to safety into, in, into bonds. All right, let me get back to the, the, the stocks at hand here, but we'll keep our eyes on that. 454 or so is where the decline is on the Dow. So J&J &J is Tuesday before the bell. You sold it last week. Yeah, I would stay away from that also. I have no expectations for J&J. &J. I would not be a buyer into the print. Okay, Jimmy, Genuine Parts, that reports next week. You own that? I feel pretty good about it. I mean, we know that the car, uh, average age of cars on the road is very, very old, and people are having to repair them. That should inure to the benefit of General Parts. Weiss, Taiwan Semi. Look, Taiwan Semi, they've got no spare capacity, so you think the stock, the, the earnings should be pretty good. However, the stock's anticipating good earnings, so the risk reward going into it, if that's why you're buying it for the earnings, I wouldn't do that. Kev PNG? Wait till after the earnings. I think the earnings will be good, but I think the stock will sell off. You'll get a buying opportunity the week after next. Another stock that's been around a high is Amex, right, Amy? Yep. Next, next uh, a week from today before the bell. Yeah, we own it. Um, I think it will be fine in the quarter, um, but I think it's really well positioned with high-end users and um, travel.